Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a, a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. We're coming up to Super Bowl Sunday. You're going to love it. Always do your best. Practice makes the master. This is a great card. By doing your best over and over, you can master the art of transformation. By doing the best, the habit of misusing your word, taking things personally, and making assumptions will become less, will become le weaker and less frequent with time. Consistency is the name of the game, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 28, Nasdaq's up 42, S&P's up flat. Gold, gold contract down at $3.60, trading at 2042 an ounce. We have silver up 31 cents, $22.67 an ounce. Late sweet crude up 264, $76.50 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note, trading down 14 ticks right now at 110.23. The 30 year off a full point, plus five ticks at 119.22. Now they're both coming into their lows that were established out here Monday with a lot lighter volume, folks. I expect what you're going to see is a Rejection of lower price once again. We have the 10-year right now yielding 4.17. In the last three months, the low has been established at 3.7. The high is at 4.6. Quite a deal, right? Nine-tenths of 1%. And then good old King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up 101 ticks. Trading out at 104, 158, Euro 107, Yen 149, British Pound 126 to 1, U.S. Dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the SPs? Let's take a look at them. Well, let me take a look at the futures first. I mean, there's a there's no action out here today. That's the real bottom line, folks. Okay. If you take a look at the SPs, you'll see, you know, they had the low there of uh, 5003, the high of 5017. That's where we're at right now. Um, you know, it's just been inside all day long, you know. We take a look at this. Let's just see. What I'm, well, there we're, yeah, I see what's happening. One second. Let me see this 10-minute bar because what we just did here. Okay, 309. Okay, let me get closer to this now. One second. Because I think we just took this 10-minute, that, that consolidation out, and we get some volume coming in here. Okay, so what is that one? No, it hasn't taken that one. So you got... We hit the 5017. What's this one here? Yeah, we're going to need more volume. Okay, this bar just finished. This 10 minute bar finished. It didn't have enough volume. Here, let me show you like this way. This is what you want to look at. There's two bars. You get the bar from the beginning of the day, you get the bar in the middle of the day. In both cases, let me see what that one was. That one was uh, 134,000, and we were at 130. 130, yeah. So well, what happens here, this will probably go for the high once again in the next five or ten minutes. Um, and see if it can get the volume. Because if you get a surge of volume in here, then you will basically go up about ten points. Because this has been a long consolidation. You know? So we'll see whether it can basically get up to that uh, 1017 again. Well, the number is actually 1016 and a half. That's the number. And then you need the expansion of volume simultaneously. Let's go to the NQs and take a look at the NQs. So we take a look at these NQs here. So the NQs had a deeper retracement. Not the same setup at all. Not even close, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have any high volume bars out here. Yeah. So different ball game, man. That's interesting, man, just in general. So the NQs. Yeah, I mean, I don't see those going to the high today. The high is 896, and right now we're at 866. Gold, we go take a look at the gold market out here. So gold got down to 2034. You got 130,000 contracts. It rejected lower price again. Look at how long this has been going sideways. This is 
Yeah, you rejected lower price again. We were going into 175,000 contracts. You did 130. That's saying that wants higher price. And we go to the 10 year note. And I already know what this looks like. And this is also going into not only the lows that were established out here on Monday, but it's going into its strength from a few months ago. And the one you want to look at right off the bat, though, is Monday, because that's the closest one to us. Yeah, there we go right there. So we're coming into that level with 1.3 billion versus 2.3. Still going to need a rejection of lower price, but that's telling me the note and bond market's going to go to. And as I said, it's not going to be a linear deal. And then we go to good old King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. So when we take a look at King Dollar, what you have out here, same type of setup, meaning, you know, We'll see King Dollar today at a high time holding price. We got to 104, 434. Right now you're at 104, 141. And New York Community Bank, we got to go to the bank, New York Community Bank, because it, when all said and done here, this is going to be the biggest farce in the world. I mean, not the world, I'm exaggerating there, okay? But the bottom line is that, you know, between yelling, everyone's trying to save New York Community Bank. New York Community Bank, folks, is done. That's not only done, but yesterday what you had, you had a, a Fed, um, yeah, it was a Fed governor, I believe, come out saying, oh, no, it wouldn't matter, you know, what happened with New York Community Bank. That's not going to affect rates. They're out of their mind, folks, okay? Let me tell you something. The first time, there, there's being so much hidden right now in regional banks and banks that have commercial real estate. Once those dominoes start to fall, the Fed's going to crack in about two seconds. They have to crack because what we still don't know, and this happens every single time that these things happen. Here's New York Community Bank, right? Where are the dominoes? Guess what? None of us know. My speculation is that what? And I'm sure many are thinking the same thing. We know it's out there somewhere, man. It, it, it is like a no-brainer, okay, that they always claim that, no, 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 I'm not invested in that. Oh, really? Yeah. As soon as it goes down the tubes, oh, oh, yeah, geez, we were invested in that. We just lost, you know, another $500 million overnight. Yeah, see you later. I suspect that that very well may be the catalyst, too. Commercial real estate may be the catalyst that instead of going down three quarters of a point in the next year, you get down a point and a half. Because the Fed knows what they're doing. And they're crushing commercial real estate more and more. It's not real residential. They're crushing, and, and the longer they stay higher, the more it's going to get crushed. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.